What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the first five mods you should do to your truck. Now, these are just my opinion, my personal opinion, what I think the first five mods you should do to your truck when you first buy it. Um, personally, this is the stuff that I do. The first five things that I do when I buy any vehicle, really. Um, but let's get to it. So number one on my list is actually three different things. I'm going to kind of group these ones together because usually uh, you can, um, a lot of websites will bundle these together. So my first, first thing in the list, first three things, first, first one is a, an exhaust intake in a tune. So there's multiple different styles of tuners, you know, depending on what you, um, have for a vehicle. So I say get, you know, a tune because it adds more power. Same with the exhaust and the intake, the intake lets it breathe a little more. So does the exhaust, you know, get some noise out there. If you want a quieter exhaust, but a better flowing exhaust. You know, there's lots of options out there. You can be quiet, quiet to loud. And then you can add the tune, which adds, you know, with all those combinations, you can usually get a decent amount more power. Especially if you own a diesel truck here, if I can get it to focus. Um, diesel truck right here. Come on. My camera's not gonna focus over here. Anyway, my truck's sitting right there. And the diesels really respond well to it, so do uh, gassers, but diesels respond really well to tunes and exhausts and intakes. Number two on this list, I always say leveling kit, lift kit, whatever you would prefer. Um, mostly, I usually always level my vehicles, that's just kind of what I have always done. I am not huge in lifts because I like to tow. Uh, you know, if you like to, you know, you kind of want to go a little higher to fit a little bit bigger wheel and tire where you tow a lot, you can do a leveling kit and put airbags in it. but. Number two is definitely, definitely a leveling kit. Get that truck more level, looks nicer, looks more, just looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. You can buy leveling kits for all kinds of prices. They're super cheap, really easy to install most of the time, um, especially on the Fords I've always had. They've always been super easy to, to install. I've done them multiple times myself. And uh, we even did a Chevy too. My, my friend had a Chevy, we did his too. Super simple. Um, and there's usually like the leveling kits are pretty inexpensive. The leveling kits or the lift kits can go anywhere from a couple hundred dollars all the way up to several thousands. Depends how nice you want to go and depends on the quality of the product that you purchase. Um, there's all like you said, there's cheaper brands and there's all the way up to more expensive brands. Same with leveling kits, but usually you can buy a leveling kit for less than a hundred bucks. All right, number three on this list. So now you got a leveled truck, well, or a lifted truck. Usually at the same time, you might want to order some wheels and tires. Obviously, you got to get some wheels and tires, get that thing looking pretty. You know, whether you want wide stance, you want it flush, you don't want to throw dirt and mud all over the side of your truck. Just get it looking nice or get it away from that stock look because nobody likes that stock look. Why would we want stock? We want to stand out, look a little bit different than everybody else. We don't want to have the same vehicle as 20 other people that work. You know, we got to stand out a little bit. There's multiple, multiple sizes for different sizes of wheels and tires, different offsets, different websites you can buy, um, multiple different websites and places to order these just this the aftermarket wheel and tire game has gotten so so big and usually you can pick up a set for you know on the cheaper side probably a thousand fifteen hundred bucks for a set of wheels uh, and then tires but you know seven eight hundred bucks you know it all depends on what you buy if you go bigger sizes bigger wider taller obviously the price is going to grow you can go into american force that are extremely expensive to like archons like i got which are pretty intermediate um i love my archons but with that being said, definitely get wheels and tires. You have to set yourself apart from everybody else. Do your own build. Don't follow other people's builds either. You can use some of them as like a motivation, but definitely try to like stand out, make your vehicle look different. That's kind of the whole point of it, in my opinion. Get from you, do what you like. Don't listen to what anybody else says. Number four, my opinion number four, I actually buy this by one of the first things I usually do is tint. Always do tint. Tint's not really legal. Um, I think the legal limit's like 50%, which isn't a whole lot. I personally always tint my vehicles darker. I like tint for the privacy. I like it because it keeps my vehicles cooler in the summer. And it also protects my interior. It keeps my interior nice without really basically drying everything out, especially with leather. Um, I, I've always just, I love tint. I like that at night too. I always get my windshield tinted. It's not legal, but the one thing I like is someone leaves their high beams on, I'm not getting blinded at night. Uh, the only time it kind of sucks is during the rain, but that's only windshield tint. I, I love it. I love, like I said, I love the privacy of it. You know, because if you start modifying your vehicle, people are going to start staring. 
they're not necessarily looking at you, but at your vehicle. Personally, like when people are staring at me at my vehicle, so I just I like to not be seen. You know, it's it's always been a preference of mine. Uh, plus, it just to me it it just finishes the whole look of the truck. It brings the whole build together, and it just makes it look so much cleaner. I absolutely love how tint looks. It just it just makes everything look so much cleaner and just so much. It just like finishes everything, you know. So definitely get some tint. You don't have to go very dark, but. My preference is dark. And last but not least, obviously there's a lot of other mods, but for number five on my list, LED headlights, and actually LED lights in general. Now, my vehicle, that and actually my Mustang, both have factory LED lights. So me personally, I don't have to really change them. And obviously you can get some aftermarket ones to, to uh, change them up, get something different, um, and get some modified ones, you know, that aren't stock and you know, aren't factory looking, like some paint match, you get like the, halo rings or the color shifting ones and there's all kinds of stuff but what i mean by led headlights is like the bulbs themselves it makes it look in my opinion it makes the vehicles look so much newer even on an older one like when we did tyler's uh platinum in his 2015 super duty it by putting the the led headlights and and roof like cab lights and everything on it it made the whole truck look newer in my opinion it just it kind of modernized it because most newer vehicles come with led lights so in my opinion it just made it a lot, look a lot nicer and he said it was just an amazing difference at night he said it was wasn't even comparable how much better he could see at night and you might have to adjust your headlights a little bit point them down a little bit so you're not blinding everybody but i i think the, the led lights are a must um I think they just look a lot nicer. Like I said, you can get different style headlights. You can like, a lot of websites will have them where you can you can build your own headlights too. And you put them in the oven and take them apart and put all the stuff in them. You can buy kits to do that. Or like I said, you can buy the full headlight done with, you know, like the halo rings, but mainly the bulbs are pretty simple. You just pull the thing out the back, put an LED bulb in it, pop her back in. Just make sure you get good ones. Do not buy cheap ones that are, you know, read the reviews and make sure they don't hyper flash, which is like they're really fast blinking make sure you do not do that so that's my personal five first things i would do to my five, first five mods i would do to my truck after buying a new truck um like i said this is just my personal opinion this is the things i'd like to do to my vehicles my first things that i like the most and what i think is just the cheapest like the like the things that would come first on my list with that being said Make sure you like this video because it really helps the YouTube al algorithm and gets our channel out there. Gets us more known so we can help try to grow the channel a little bit. Make sure you subscribe because if we had a, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. We're super close. We are only 28 subscribers away at the time of making this video from hitting a thousand. Once we hit a thousand subscribers or 1300 followers on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram right here. But we're super close on, on YouTube. So that's probably gonna be our main focus. 28 more subscribers and we're doing a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of Chemical Guys stuff. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just love their products. I use them on both my vehicles, both my truck and my car. Absolutely love their products. They do really, they work really, really well. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. Have your friends subscribe, your family subscribe, and then it'll just be super simple to enter. It'll be actually be free, completely free to enter. You don't have to buy nothing. All you just gotta go, I'm gonna make a post on Instagram and like I said, I'll, you just gotta comment on it and whatnot. I'll put the details more when the giveaway is available, as in when we hit a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm also selling merch, recklessassets.com. I got shirts, I got, well, I got not this one, this is my field service uh, center for when I bought my four wheeler, but I got shirts kind of like this. Um, I got reckless offsets on the front, and then I got a couple, like four different style shirts, one with my truck on it, and then I got save the manuals. And then I got two other ones that are pretty funny. So if you guys go check that out at the website at recklessoffsets.com, copy some merch. We're gonna come out with another design about a month or a little less here. So yeah, you guys can check out and hopefully buy. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.